Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a question from one of my subscribers and he is a question when uh, heterozygous black pigs are intercrossed then uh, what is the chances of the first two of spring being black and here is the answers to choose from uh, I recommend you to pause video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation so when we talk about uh, black pigs, uh, that is heterozygous, we should understand uh, that this is simple Mendelian genetics and this is possible phenotypes. So I would use these pictures. So uh, black would be dominant over the white. So in this example we have two alleles, dominant allele A which code for the normal black pigment and recessive or mutated allele A which is uh, mutated and doesn't produce normal black pigment and uh, this allele actually uh, doesn't produce any pigment at all so it doesn't uh, produce say white color but uh, it's just mutated and uh, doesn't perform it function. So uh, with these two alleles we can get three genotypes and uh, this is going to be first variant of the genotype capital A capital A. In this uh, variant we would have black pig. We also may have capital A and small a. Still this is going to be a pig with uh, black pigment because one allele will produce black pigment. Those, the second one uh, is unable to produce black pigment. And uh, the third variant would be when two alleles would be mutated, wouldn't be able to produce black pigment. And of course in this variant we would see pig that is going to be white. According to our problem uh, we uh, have to intercross two black pigs that are heterozygous. That means uh, that we have to choose this genotype and cross with itself. So let's do it. So one more time. Parent 1, parent 2. Each parent have to be heterozygous. Capital A, small a. And capital A, small a. If we cross these two parents, so let's uh, parent 1p on top, so genotype is capital A and small a, and parent 2 would be here on the side, capital A and small a. So when we build a Punnett square, we would see all possible variants of the genotypes and phenotypes in the progeny. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So these three genotypes mean uh, in the progeny that uh, progeny would be black. So uh, black here black here, black here, and um, this genotype that is small a, small a, means this phenotype. So as you see, in the progeny we would have uh, 0 0.75 blacks and 0 0.25 whites, or we also can say 75% and 25%. We also can say 3 quarters and 1 quarter. So all these answers are the same. We can uh, use any numbers for our calculations, whichever you like. So um, one more time, uh, the question is what is the probability that if we cross parent 1, 
that is heterozygous with parent 2, which is also heterozygous. And what is the probability in a litter with two animals that both animals would be black? So phenotypically would be black. And as you see, probability for the first peak to be black would be 0 0.75. And the same probability that uh, second peak also would be black. Probability would be 0 0.75. Because this is two independent probabilities, we uh, have to multiply these probabilities. And the answer would be 0 0.5625. And as you see, we don't have such an answer here, because this answer is given on the scale between 0 and 1. In other words, uh, if you would see uh, answers here, like for example, instead of uh, this 76%, 0 0.76, uh, this is our scale, or for example, here we would get 0 0.66, but because answers are given in percentage form, we have to multiply our answer by 100. So in this case, we are going to get 56.25%. We still don't have an answer, such an answer here, but we have answer B, which is 56%. That means that this answer is just rounded answer to to the whole number. So if we would round this number to the whole number, we are going to get 56%. And this is going to be our answer today. And this is answer B. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.